Hello and welcome to yet another command block tutorial. Today's episode we're going to be answering a few questions that I saw in my last tutorial video and then going over a few fun little gadgets that you can make with just a few simple commands. So to start out, one of the most common questions that I saw is, is there any way to have a special named item be different than just a normal item or have two of the same type of item with different names give different effects? The simple answer is no. There's no way to tell the names of items apart. Uh, like a normal crafted compass would be the same as a compass that you could give a player through a quest. Unfortunately, there's no way to do that at the time of this video with just commands. Another question that I saw is, if I am going too far away from my commands, they stop working. The reason is because when you are too far away, the command blocks are not loaded in by the world. So the way to fix that is to run a command just like this. What this does is add a ticking area with just a circle and we gave it some simple coordinates and a radius. And this is just a name, you can make this whatever you want. We're doing this so that way this area is going to stay loaded no matter where any of the players in the world are. This ensures that your command blocks will always work all the time. Well, you know, if you make them right. So another question that I saw is how do I make it so items only work for certain players, not necessarily all players? So one thing you can do is you can give yourself a tag sword. So for an example, uh, this is the has item, so it's checking if the sword is in my hand. It also checks if I have the tag admin. So this could be good if you want admins to have access to certain special items, uh, and you don't want normal players to do that, that kind of thing. So in this example, it's just going to give me strength if as long as I have the admin sword, admin tag while I'm holding the sword. So if I'm holding the sword, I actually do already have the tag. So as soon as I turn this on, you will see that I have strength. But if I go ahead and remove that tag, you'll see that the strength fades away. No matter how many times I flick back to it, it's not gonna pop up. If I give myself the tag back, boom, it's there. And so now I will have the sword and I will have the strength while holding this sword. So another thing is what if you only want it to work for one player, you don't necessarily want to do the tag thing. Well, you can also check for names. So in this example, we're using a diamond sword, checking if it's in the hands, then we have the comma, name, and then guppy duck, which is my name. So now while I am holding this sword, I'm going to get regeneration. However, nobody else holding a diamond sword is going to get regeneration because their name isn't guppy duck. Now you can also combine these. In this example, I'm checking if the name for Guppy Duck, I'm checking if they're holding a netherite sword once again, I'm checking if they have the tag Guppy. If all that's true, you get night vision while holding this sword. So as you can see, turn this on. And I do have night vision because right now I do have the tag Guppy and I also am named Guppy Duck. However, if I take the tag away, you can see the night vision is going to fade. Even though I am named Guppy, it wants to make sure that I'm Guppy and that I also have the tag Guppy in order to give me the night vision. Hopefully that addresses some of your concerns, and if you have any other concerns, please feel free to leave it in the comments of this video. Moving on, I'm just going to show you some kind of cool little things that you can make uh, with just a few simple commands. So in this example, we have the Feather of Flight. So if I turn this on, I'll show you the command first. In this example, it's giving an effect to any player that's holding the feather in their main hand. It's going to give them levitation so that you can fly. And just a quick reminder that you can add the tags and the names and the other stuff you saw over here to any of the examples that I'm going to show now. So now when I hold this feather, I'm going to start levitating. Oh, if I'm not flying. So you can see if I let go, it's going to fade away. If I hold on to it. I can fly just by holding this feather and I can kind of control myself a little bit if I'm flipping onto it. Now you can also do some stuff similar with slow falling, which is also really nice and very helpful to make a better flight system. But this is just the simple one command version. Now for the next example, we're going to do something different. This is the boots of leaping. So if I turn this on, I'm going to show you the command first. So now it's checking if I have the go item gold boots. However, instead of checking my hand, it's going to see if I'm wearing it on my feet. And it's going to give me jump boost if I do. So if I'm holding the boots, you can see nothing's happening, still jump normal. 
However, if I throw them on and just show you, yes, they are on. Now you can see that I've jumped boost. Now I can jump much higher. And if I take the boots off, nothing. So this is how you can kind of give certain armor special effects. All right, now for the n I'm gonna skip this one for the time being because it's, as you can see, a little bit more complicated than the rest. So next we have the lightning staff. So if I turn this on and you can see, this is another one. In this example, we're just checking if I'm holding it in my hands. If so, it's gonna summon a lightning bolt in front of where I'm facing nine blocks away. So as you can see, I'm holding it. It's gonna be constantly summoning lightning bolts. And yes, you are able to use that to attack people. So for the next one, I thought I'd do something interesting. We have the bow of targeting. Now there are a lot of ways that you can make homing bullets and projectiles that will track onto your enemies. In this example, I'm making something that just makes your enemies move to wherever you are firing. So if I summon a husk, I can type with this command on. So it's going to check, once again, am I holding the bow? If so, it's going to check right in front of me for any type of monster, and it's going to teleport them right in front of where I'm facing. So once I hold the bow, you can see he's going to go wherever I'm looking. Now you can use this for a bunch of different things. In this example, we are using the bow to automatically hold whatever I want to hit in front of me. This makes sure that I will always hit my target, and I don't even need seeking arrows, so it's not even cheating. I'm just really this good with a bow. Now, for the next example, this could be a very interesting thing that you could use for a kit PvP. We have two commands here. Both of them are basically very similar. So this is going to check if I have a shield, except it's instead of your main hand, it's going to be checking if it's in your offhand. If so, it's going to give you slowness that so you walk slower, but it's going to give you resistance so you take less damage. And that's just by holding the shield. It does not check if you're blocking. It only is checking if you're holding. So if I put the shield on, turn this on, you're going to see, boom, slowness, resistance. You see I'm walking a lot slower because the shield's heavy. And yes, and you can also see that when it's out of my offhand, it's not going to matter. It's only checking if it's in my offhand. So the next one up is the time clock. This is just kind of a little fun little effect that you can do that just kind of looks kind of cool. So as you can see, if I turn this on, I'll even show you what the command is first. Checking if there's a clock in my hands. If so, it's going to add time. So what that looks like is this. So now you too can be a time wizard. All right, now I'm gonna go back to this one that I skipped, the flaming blaze rod. So I'm gonna show you commands first. Now what this is gonna do is make a flamethrower just by holding this blaze rod. So if you look here, I'm just gonna fire through these. I'll explain the first one and then skip a few so you can see what it looks like. So this is checking if I'm holding blaze rod. If so, it's gonna make, it's gonna go up a little bit. Then it's gonna make a mob flame single particle in front of where I'm looking. And it's gonna do that a few times, except this number is gonna be different. It's gonna be higher, so that way it goes further out. This is, you can kinda of extend this and change this to kinda of change the range of this flamethrower attack. I just made a very short one. It only goes five blocks out. Now this is gonna add damage, and it's gonna add fire damage to anything kinda of within the radius of where you're looking when you're holding this blaze rod. And then I also had this command at the end. So while you're holding a blaze rod, uh, you're gonna hear the gas fireball sound. It's gonna have some little adjustments with this number. This slows the sound down a lot, so it sounds a little more like a flamethrower. So now, if I turn this on, you can see I'm just creating this pillar of flame wherever I'm looking. Now, if I do this, it's also going to damage enemies that I hit with this constant flamethrower. You can see it's not a lot of damage at the moment, but if I wanna go here, can change this number, let's make it like eight. 
And let's say I summon a few of these guys. And look how fast I can take out this entire group of enemies. Just completely roast them. And I can make that damage number even higher, or I can make it lower. And there's other stuff you can kind of do to adjust this. This is just kind of a fun little simple flamethrower that you can make. And uh, it, it will kind of blind you. It is a very big flame. All right, well, that's it for this command block tutorial. If you have any suggestions, feel free to let me know. And if you have any comments or questions, let me know in the comments. I'm going to try and answer most of the comments with questions in them. Or if you have suggestions for another video, let me know, and I will try to do it if I can. All right, thanks. Goodbye.